If you need to record some real-time MIDI but don't have a MIDI keyboard handy, all is not lost. Samplitude has its own solution for this in the form of a virtual keyboard. This is also known as a musical typing keyboard. When this keyboard is open and in focus, it will accept input from your computer keyboard. This is very useful if you're using a laptop or a notebook. You may be on a plane or a train or in a park or a coffee shop or even on the beach. So in those situations, you might find this virtual keyboard very useful. So here are the detailed instructions on how to use it. To open the keyboard, you can use the shortcut Shift Control Alt K. The keyboard will then open in the dock, ready to use. Alternatively, you can open it by left clicking on the plus sign at the bottom right hand corner. Choose Keyboard from the menu to add it to the dock. Left click on the name to open it. You'll notice that letters, numbers and punctuations have been overlaid onto the virtual keyboard, mimicking the computer keyboard. So now, if I press any of the corresponding keys, they will trigger the virtual keyboard and play the selected instrument. You can also transpose the keyboard up or down an octave at a time by clicking these arrows. Transpose down. Transpose up. Notice the keyboard legend changes as I change the transposition. These markings will only show when the keyboard is in focus, meaning that the keyboard is active. This is important to remember. If you click anywhere in the arranger, the keyboard will no longer be in focus and you'll notice the markings disappear. Therefore, Samplitude will no longer be able to accept input from your computer keyboard. So it's important to make sure the keyboard is in focus before using it. To bring it back into focus, click anywhere on the grey surrounding area of the keyboard and you'll notice the markings return. So I'm ready to start recording and I have some VSTIs loaded already. I'm going to start with Tone to Icarus. Record enable the track and activate monitoring. Make sure the keyboard is in focus. That's working. Shift plus R to begin recording. Next, Retro Organs by UVI. Bring the keyboard back into focus. Shift plus R to begin recording. To the right we have an arpeggiator. Click on the button to activate it. It's set to major and up with 1 16th note resolution. Minor ascending. Minor arpeggio down. Major arpeggio down. Up, down, major. Up, down, minor. One thirty second note resolution. You can move the slider for one eighth and one quarter note resolution. If you move the slider to the three vertical dots, you should hear stacked triads. Minor triad stacked. Major triad stacked. Moving the slider to the single dot returns to normal note mode.
If you set the slider to up, you will hear three ascending notes at octave intervals. Or three descending notes at octave intervals. And up down at octave intervals. Of course, you can record any of these patterns into Samplitude if you wish. I'll record an example. Arpeggiator set to minor up down, 1 16th resolution. Turn on the click, loop enabled. Arm the track. I'm quantizing to 16ths and I've got input quantize turned on. Make sure the keyboard is in focus. Shift plus R to record. So that was an overview of the arpeggiator. To finish up I'm going to explain the last remaining features. You can make the keys of the keyboard narrower or wider by moving the slider. This is useful if you're using a touchscreen. You can also undock the keyboard. Left click where it says keyboard and drag it upwards. The keyboard is always on top, so if you click in the arranger, it won't disappear behind. To return it to the dock, left click and drag the title bar downwards. When the green band appears, release the mouse and it's back in the dock. One final thing. If you left click in the darker horizontal area, you can see a list of VSTIs. Loading VSTIs from this list can be a bit unpredictable, so be warned. Also, take care clicking around the area in case the window pops up accidentally. My preference is to add instruments from the track editor or from the insert slot of the track header. So there you have it. I've pretty much covered everything that I'm aware of. So until next time, all the best.